Hi all. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we will upgrade Securite endpoint security of a lower version to higher version. As you see in my screen, my system is installed with Securite endpoint security version 7.4. It is a lower version. I would like to get this upgraded into 7.6, which is the latest version. Not only the server, I want all my clients to get automatically upgraded into the latest version that is 7.6. What all procedures should I follow to get this upgrading completed? That is the question here. We are going to find the answer. So for upgrading endpoint security of a lower version, we require setup file of higher version of endpoint security first with us. So first we need setup file or we can say installer of Securite endpoint security 7.6. If you wish to download that, you can visit www securite.com forward slash securite minus product minus installer. In that page, you can provide your 20 digit product key and download the installer. And that installer can be executed either in your existing machine, the same machine you have with EPS 7.4 or the lower version, in that machine, you can run the installer. That type of installation is called as multi-server installation. Or else, if you wish to change your EPS server, you can even install the higher version in a different system. So this is what the method we need to note down first. My system is ready with EPS 7.6 setup file before executing that in the same system that is our EPS 7.4 machine in the same system I'm going to run that 7.6 installer before going to do that let me log into EPS 7.4 console and show you the uh, client list I have then we will go to installation process for that I used to enter my username here and need to put the uh, password. So I have done administrator and the password over here, then logging into my existing 7.4 console in my machine. When I go to clients, I can see the client list. Laptop minus L9 SLF QTS. That is the current 7.4 EPS server machine, and it is showing it's on client. Then desktop minus 1BM70MU, that is a client already I have with my console. Now I want my EPS server and client to be updated into latest 7.6 version. For that, as I said, I already downloaded setup file of Securite 7.6. I'm running that in my machine. Yes. extracting files for installation let the extraction get completed we'll wait so extraction has been completed now we got the uh, setup wizard so let's click on next and accept the end user license agreement and privacy policy clicking on next Previous version of Securite endpoint security, security is, uh, endpoint security is already installed in the system. This version can be easily upgraded to the latest version using multi-server option provided in Securite endpoint security installation. Do you wish to proceed with multi-server installation of endpoint security? Yes. So we are installing the latest version on uh, top of this machine. Uh, uh, we uh, we have both of these play, uh, no, versions into the same machine now. So let's complete uh, the current installation of 7.6. So my SQL is detected here. 
continuing with that file verification is in progress and at which path you want to install that path you can choose over here click on next it will scan memory for viruses and this is a very important screen where it is asking us to select either uh, ip address or domain name for continuing with installation along with the port numbers so uh, as of now we have one older version that was installed with domain name here in my machine so here as well i am setting domain name if you want to choose ip you can choose as ip but i am selecting domain name as my older version was also installed domain name and in my network I use DHCP. As of now, my IP of this server is manually configured, but still after completion of installation, I can alter it into uh, DHCP because my communication identifier here is domain name. So all the endpoints will try to reach towards the domain name that is laptop minus L9 SLF QTS. That would be the identifier uh, uh, checking by the endpoints to communicate uh, via the port number uh, HTTP 8101 and SSL 9111. So in lower version, we, we know that the port number is different. In higher version, the port number is different. That is very important to note down that. It is not uh, good to change the port number. So always we recommend to keep the port number as it is. Let's go to next. Yes in a client uh, uh, path that would be uh, program files percentage security security and the client agent communication port number is 5057 right proceed yes and asking for the password it is recommended to set a strong password for uh, eps uh, server console and uh, for the client so uh, we can have more security Click on next and again for uh, MySQL, we can put one uh, uh, username. So MySQL user I'm just setting and you can use an alphanumeric combination for a stronger password to avoid any kind of attack into this machine. So it is always recommended to use a strong password here. And then click on next. Again, next to confirm that and OK, we can see the summary. Installation is taking place now. Required files are being copied. Let's wait for a few minutes to get the installation process completed. Uh, we have done with the process and this is a readme read uh, screen. Uh, let's click on next. And it is asking us to configure update manager and uh, uh, delete report setting as of now we are not configuring it uh, we can even configure it later and clicking on next and uh, security endpoint security 7.6 has been successfully installed so as we followed multi-server installation method and the lower version of eps is installed in the same machine which is already activated eps 7.6 will not ask us to activate that so as of now just finish it and now try to log into the EPS console of 7.6. So we know this is the EPS console of uh, 7.4 and uh, instead of that particular 9108 SSL port number, we can put the 9111 port number of 7.6 and log into EPS 7.6 console. The password of 7.6 here. Let's log into 7.6 console. We can see that. Yes, this is our 7.6 console. And as of now, we don't have any clients over here, right? This is the only uh, machine that is rejected as 7.6. Okay, and when we see 7.4 here, we have one client reported. So now I have only one client and I want that particular client to be upgraded into 7.6. So what should I do? First, I need to log into EPS 7.4 console. Once I log in, uh, once again, I'm seeing that uh, from clients, you can see the 
client desktop minus one bm 70 mu which is having an ip address 192.168.10.12 as of now i want this client to be upgraded for that i should go to admin setting uh, here we can see one feature redirection so in this redirection setting uh, you can see here clients redirected zero remaining zero and here to which machine we need to redirect that we need to put over here as we followed multi-server installation our epa 7.6 is in the same machine if it was in a different machine uh, you need to put that uh, computer name uh, or a domain name or this particular ip address over here and continue with the process so in our case we can put the same domain name over here so this is our domain name that we used for installing the uh eps so we are putting the same domain name over here and port number so what is the port number that we used with uh, uh client server communication port we used with eps 7.6 uh, it was 5057 so put that client server communication port that is 5057 that we have entered then select this checkbox to add a public ip address or host name for example, remote EPS clients will be redirected to new EPS server using this public IP. So you just need a forward rule over here. So the uh, public IP we can put over here so that the remote clients can communicate. So as of now, we are not enabling it. And uh, we have other options like uh, redirect all clients, redirect and auto reboot all clients, redirect selected clients. Uh, these are the three options. So i'm just uh, going to redirect selected client here and you can select the client which require the uh, you know upgradation so i am selecting that particular client here and clicking on okay so that particular client is selected now and we can click on apply so this will be applying the uh, redirection setting and that settings will be saved successfully so now the particular client that we have in our EPA 7.4 console that is initiated with uh, redirection. So later onwards, once the message is delivered at that client side, that client will be marked for uninstallation of the existing 7.4 client from its side. And after a reboot, it will be automatically installed with. 7.6 client and it will be reporting into EPS 7.6 console. Let's see that uh, to complete uh, the removal of that particular client uh, with EPS uh, 7.4 and the client get removed. And after a reboot, we can see here it is communicating uh, in. EPS 7.6 console. Right.
so now let's see the uh, 7.6 console we can see that uh, you know the desktop 1vm 70 mu is reported uh, under 7.6 console uh, so this is how the upgradation is taking place now automatically the lower version of epa 7.4 will be removed and the client will be enabled with 7.6 and we can manage the 7.6 client uh, from uh, this particular console and once the uh, removal is completed that entry will be moved out from this 7.4 completely and when we see the admin setting redirection we can see here that the client redirected is one and the client remaining is zero as of now and uh, one more thing uh, when we uh, get all clients redirected into the latest console we can uninstall the older version of EPS from the same system and then activate our latest version of EPS in the same system. If it was into a different machine, at the completion of EPS 7.6 installation itself, we uh, must activate the product. But in this case of multi server installation, after the completion of redirection uh, of all clients into the latest console, we would need to uninstall the uh, lower EPS console, entire component, entire server components of lower version, complete and install would be required. Then we can activate our latest version once again in the same machine. That is the process we need to complete to get all the clients redirected in our uh, endpoint security uh, network. We believe this video is useful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching this video and bye.